Now, on to the terror attacks in Paris. Today, police said as many as six members of a terrorist cell may still be on the loose. One suspected accomplice is Hayat Boumediene, the girlfriend of the terrorist who attacked the Jewish grocery store. Before the attacks, she is believed to have traveled from Paris to Madrid to Istanbul and then on to Syria. Holly Williams is in Istanbul tonight. Holly? Scott, there is no European no-fly list that would have prevented Hayat Boumediene traveling from Paris via Madrid and on to Istanbul. If the French police had been looking for Boumediene, that would have been flagged to the Spanish. But they weren't when she left France before the attacks took place. Surveillance cameras captured Hayat Boumediene entering Turkey through an Istanbul airport on the 2nd of January a week before her partner, Amadi Koulibaly, killed four hostages in a kosher grocery store in Paris. The Turkish authorities said today that they were not warned about Boumediene by the French government. So they stamped her passport and let her into the country. And she wasn't alone. In the surveillance video, you can see a man who Turkish officials name today as 23-year-old Mehdi Sabri Belhussein, another French citizen. Photographs of Hayat Boumediene show her transformation from the daughter of a French delivery driver to an armed Islamic extremist. Turkish authorities believe after arriving in Istanbul, Boumediene stayed two nights in this hotel. Turkish officials say that after she left Istanbul, Hayat Boumediene spent four days in another city close to the Syrian border before crossing into the war zone on Thursday. The same day her partner Koulibaly shot and killed a French policewoman. He attacked the kosher grocery store the following day. And the French authorities announced they were searching for Boumediene. But by then, it was too late. Phone records confirm that the woman who may have vital information about terror networks in Europe was already in Syria. One Turkish official told us today that his government is furious that the French did not flag Boumediene as a possible extremist. But US officials have told us it's normal to scale back close, close surveillance of suspects who are deemed less important. And Scott, they say that is always a difficult judgment call. Holly Williams in Istanbul for us tonight. Thank you, Holly.